Hello, this is Superintendent Hansen with the Eastland Schools with a short PowerPoint on the Board of Education's decision last Thursday to issue bonds to pay for important facility improvements um, to be made here in the future. The purpose of the PowerPoint is to clarify the work and also the rationale behind the bond issue to pay for the work. In the summer of 2015, the Board authorized an engineering audit to evaluate the conditions of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems in the original sections of the Eastland Elementary and the Eastland Junior Senior High School. These sections were constructed in, in and around 1927, 51, 52, and 57. When they have original boilers, piping, traps, and unit ventilators. They are not currently air conditioned spaces other than for window units. The reason for the audit was concerns about recurring problems and the age of the existing systems. What the audit found was predictable. The audit said that the boilers and the unit ventilators and the piping and the traps in these sections were original and had already exceeded double their industry defined useful life, which is defined as the point at which the rate of failure is 50% or greater. In addition, the report said that the air exchange in these spaces is compromised by unit ventilators that don't exchange outside for inside air at the rates currently recommended for public facilities. It was a very detailed report, and if you would like to read the full reports, they are posted on our district webpage at www.eastland308.com. Richard L. Johnson's and Alera Engineering evaluated different system replacement options, including standard two-pipe and four-pipe systems with high-efficiency boilers, as well as new geothermal systems. Their recommendation is to install geothermal systems in both buildings to service those older sections. The estimated cost for the project, $3.486 million. The reason they're recommending geothermal is that the technology has improved dramatically over the last 10 years. It is simpler than the traditional systems in that each room has a standalone unit, there is no boiler, and no real need for the complicated control systems that are associated with newer systems. Geothermal is the most energy efficient system, and in the future when the, when the new sections of those two buildings age out their heating systems, expanding the geothermal fields and converting those sections to geothermal on the same loop will not be particularly difficult. Public schools are allowed to sell bonds for a variety of reasons, including to pay for the cost of necessary facility and infrastructure improvements. Given the state's fiscal stalemate and the proposed legislation threatening future funding to schools, bonding allows Eastland to pay for the work through the bond and interest levy over a period of time without spending reserves. Interest, interest rates for bonding are currently at historical low, lows and they're only likely to increase if the work and the bonding are postponed. So Eastland has the capacity to do the work and that work can be done through the sale of working cash or health life safety bonds and each of those methods has advantages and disadvantages. Last Thursday the board agreed unanimously to advertise their intent to sell bonds to do the work and their plan is to provide notice of intent to sell working cash and life safety bonds and to evaluate in December whether to use one of those methods or a combination of the two. The timeline, they passed their resolution last Thursday um, to sell working cash bonds and they've scheduled a meeting to approve their 10-year health life safety survey and amendments for 6 p.m. on November 4th of 2015. Prior to the December meeting, they will issue another notice of a hearing to be held on the bond issuance. That hearing will be held at 6.30 p.m. prior to the regular meeting on December 16th. And if all goals is uh, planned, then in the board would approve the sale of bonds at their January 2016 meeting. Presuming that all goals is planned, the construction timeline would be as follows. Phase one 
will be the Eastland Elementary School with work planned in the summer of 2016. And phase two would be the Eastland Junior Senior High School with work planned in the summer of 2017. If you have any questions, we encourage you to visit the website or to contact myself at the, at the high school here at 815-493-6301 um, to learn more about the, the board's plans. We thank you for your attention to this, and please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions.